Iran has always been a refuge for the progeny of Imam Ali and Lady Fatima. I like to call it Bustane Ali Muhammad or the Garden of the Prophet's progeny. They turned to this land when their own people oppressed and persecuted them. Here they are known as Imam Zadeh, which literally means the children of the Imams. And speaking of Imam Zadeh, there is no better place to begin than Kashan. For here lies the shrine of Muhammad Hilal bin Ali, the very first Imam Zadeh to set foot on Iranian soil in the year 61 Hijri, soon after the Battle of Karbala. His mother was a noble lady named Bibi Amame. It was because of her love and devotion towards the Prophet's family that Bibi Fatima on her deathbed made a will for Imam Ali to marry her. Muhammad Hilal was born in the 14th year of the Islamic calendar, the same year as Muhammad Hanafiya, another famous son of Imam Ali's. Hilal means the new moon. It was the eve of the holy month of Ramadan and Imam Ali was in the mosque when Qambar came to him with the news of the birth of a son. Imam Ali raised the beautiful child on his hands and said, It seems like the moon of the holy month has come into my arms. It is said that Imam Ali was seen joyful for the first time in three years since the death of his beloved wife, Lady Fatima. So, since the first day itself, he came to be known as hilal ali or the moon of Imam Ali His other titles are nufus e fakhira or one to be proud of, buhur e uloom or an ocean of knowledge, hilal munir or the shining moon that shows the path, sayyid sayyid meaning a dignified leader, shakh e sharif meaning a noble human being and Tahirul Kareem or a pure and benevolent soul. After the tragedy of Karbala and after the women of the Prophet's family were taken captive by the Caliph Yazid, Hilal bin Ali migrated to Iran in order to garner support along with his brother On. He came to Khorasan where he had supporters waiting for him. The governor of Khorasan, Qais bin Murra, was informed of the arrival. So he sent a formidable army to fight the sons of Imam Ali alayhi salam. In the ensuing battle that lasted a full day, On was brutally killed. His body was ripped and his liver was taken. Hilal bin Ali survived the massacre. With fractured limbs and a broken collarbone, he managed to pull himself from the battlefield. With the army on his heels, he travelled to Qum, where an old lady and her daughter tended to his wounds. The next day, he left for Noshabad, where Yaqub, a Shia and an adherent of the Ahl al -Bayt, gave him refuge in his underground study. Here, Hilal bin Ali lived out the rest of his days. After spending three years in the basement of Yaqub, Hilal bin Ali had a dream. He saw the Prophet, Imam Ali, Lady Fatima, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain and his younger brother On. They said to him that they eagerly awaited him. The next morning, he told Yaqub that he would be his guest for only one more night and that after his death, he wished to be buried in the same basement. The day was spent in worship and final obligations. During the night prayers, Hilal bin Ali went into prostration and in that position, his soul left his body. Within three days of losing the son of Imam Ali, out of grief, his faithful host Yaqub too left this world. According to his will, he was buried near the feet of Imam Zade Muhammad Hilal bin Ali. Bibi Zainab used to remember her brother in her elegies. She recited, O oh dear father, your moons have been eclipsed by the clouds of tyranny. Some were killed in the battlefields, while others were lost in the mountains. Where the house of Yaqub was, now stands this magnificent shrine, one of the finest works of Safavid architecture. At merely a 90 minutes drive, from Qum. It is also the main center of Azadari in and around Kashan. The fact that I am narrating his tale is not me throwing light on him. It is him throwing light on me. After all, he is Hilal, the shining moon of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. Salams to all. Hilal ibn Ali As the metir sharar Hilal ibn Ali از خواهم که برایت خبری بد دارم از خواهم که برایت خبری بد دارم گویمت با دل خونبار هلال ابن علی
گویمت باد لخون بار هلال ابن علی